that. So we, I guess we're good to go. Yep. I'm ready when you guys are. Sorry, I'm just getting it so I don't mark my bloody bench. <clears throat> That's all right. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All righty. Welcome to another episode of There Will Be Trivia. We have our second week in the books for our very first season, and we have potentially a very, very, very tough matchup between two strong competitors in Jacob Blunden and Zabi Raymond. Hello, Jacob. Hey, young guys. And hello, Zabi. Hey, guys. Glad to be back. <laughs> All right, and I have my first host of this season, and it is Lucas, who may or may not have written this match. Hello, Lucas. I can confirm uh, that I did write this match. I'm very excited to see how these guys can fare with these questions. There's some smart people. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to do well. And for the record, if anybody has anything to complain about, there's your guy. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, I'm Noted. pretty sure after a full week we know how it's going, so we can just get right into it. We're going to start off with a warm-up question, and what we're going to do is, Jacob, your name starts with J, so you yell J. Zabi, you start with a Z, you yell Z. I'm going to read the question. If you think you know the answer, you yell the initial of your name, and we get the answer. The person who answers it correctly will get the advantage going to round one plus a point. If the person answers incorrectly, they, their opponent will receive the advantage, but no point will be awarded. Clear? Oh, yep. All righty. All right. Let's get started. Name one of the two male leads in Superbad. That's Jacob Z. Um, I, th I think he messed up, but yeah, he meant to say Z, so I'm going to go Zabi. Uh, there is Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah. Oh, what a, what a smarty pants. We only needed Show one. Show off. Show <laughs> off. I, I love like that it. movie. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. So. Oh, especially for comedies. All right, Zabi, congratulations. You get the... Advantage going into round one. So here's the advantage. I'm going to tell you ten possible category options. You're going to pick the five that you think it may be a combination of your strength and maybe his weakness. Okay? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. So keep that in mind. Here's your ten. Movie release dates, musicals, war, horror, 70s, family films. Henry, Henry, Henry. Yeah. Henry. Henry. The musicals category is the one that we that is incorrectly titled. It's actually Oscars. All right. I'll start over then. All right. Okay. Zabi, here's your ten, 10 categories. Movie release yep. dates, Oscars, war, horror, 70s, family films, comic book movies, romance, Star Wars, and directors. So just a clarification for right. directors. We'll name a movie, and you're just going to have to name the director of the movie. In case that sways your opinion. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of up and down trying to you know, visualize it. Whenever you're ready, let me okay. know the five you choose. Okay. Not sure about this, but <laughs> I will take um, movie release dates, okay. Oscars, family films, comic book movies, and directors. All righty. All righty. I think I think we have similar strengths that so probably doesn't. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we'll see. All right, so like, just a reminder, I'm going to read the question. This is going to be both, for both of you. You'll write down your answer. I'll call on you, and then you'll reveal your answer, okay? All right, for the first question, what year was The Shining released? Okay. I'll be completely honest. I don't think I would have got this question. No? I think... I'm not necessarily a horror, horror fan or a big Kubrick fan, but I do like The Shining, so I think I, I would have gotten this. Plus, movie release dates is personally a strength of mine, or at least up there. All right. I'm usually pretty good with like a couple years, but <laughs> after that it gets a little... All right. So, Zabi, since you got the advantage, we'll allow you to answer first. Fill your answer. Okay. Incredibly unsure about this, but 1980... 1980? Okay. And Jacob? I said 1982. Oh, uh-oh. Zabi, you got the correct answer to go up two to nothing. Alrighty, so for the second question, for Oscars, 
What 1978 movie won Best Picture at the 51st Academy Awards? Yeah, so to be clear, it's a movie that was released in 1978. And in case this helps, it was the 1979 Oscars instead of the 51st, just in case that helps. Oh, man. Oscars is always a confusing, especially when it comes to Best Picture. It's always tough because you have that idea that, like, the 77 movie wins at the 78 awards. Or just so, so have to be clear. You have to be yeah. clear about, like, what year you're actually looking for. Yeah, exactly. Both of our contestants look a little confused. I'm going to have to give you a five count. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Jacob, since you're behind, let's see what you got. I have Rocky, but I'm pretty sure so that was 76. Okay, and yes, Zabi? Um, I took a complete guess out of Africa. Both are in correct. Lucas, do you want to reveal the answer? Yes, the answer is the deer hunter. Deer oh! <laughs> That's I, knew I knew we'd get that reaction. That was my reaction when I watched the first hour of that movie. Anyway... Moving, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of the first hour. Moving on to family uh -huh. films. What Lewis Carroll novel was turned into a movie in 2010 directed by Tim Burton? So Tim Burton turned what Lewis Carroll novel into a movie in 2010? Let's see how many different ways we can say the, uh, the question. Yeah. Just, it's it's a Lewis Carroll wrote what movie, <laughs> what, what book that was turned into a movie by Tim Burton? <laughs> it was written by Lewis Carroll. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're both ready. Is it B? Let's see if you can extend your lead. Alice in Wonderland. All right. Jacob? All right. Yep. Alice there in Wonderland. We go. Jacob's on the board. Well done, sir. But Zabi kept his lead up at two. All right. Our second to last question in round one, we have comic book movies. Viggo Mortensen stars as Tom Stahl in this 2005 adaptation of a graphic novel. Name the movie. I like how I wrote name the film and you said name the movie. Proves the difference between us when it comes to movies and film. I just didn't want you I'm to think film. like you have control over me. That's all. <laughs> 2005, you said? 2005. Viggo Mortensen, Tom Stahl, 2005 graphic novel. Those are the key words to that question. <laughs> I should just write keyword questions and let you obfuscate in between. Yeah, right? See if he can figure out himself. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Jacob? History of violence. Okay. And Zabi? I said the same thing. All righty, sweet. Well Zabi is so far having himself a great game. All right. That, that one was lucky. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> You're like, I knew Viggo Mortensen, early 2000s. Let's just go with that. Yeah. All right. I don't so, know who the hell's writing that as a graphic novel. Oh, definitely not. All right. So our There's final. There's a lot of very weird movies that were that nobody knows were adaptations from graphic novels. All right. Yeah. No kidding. All right, so going into this final question, Zabi, just know that you're automatically guaranteed the advantage going into round two, but Jacob, this is going to be a critical point for you heading into the further rounds. Our final category is directors. Which famous director of Westerns directed the 1941 How Green Was My Valley? Oh, fuck you, Lucas. Uh... <laughs> I knew it would get this response, so I put it in there. Okay, I wrote confidently, but this answer may be wrong. Hence, no, my, I have no idea. My recognition of Lucas as the writer, so he gets yelled at, and not myself. <laughs> All right, Zabi, let's let's see if you can get five points out of a possible six going in. Reveal your answer. John Ford. All right, Jacob. Do you yeah, agree? I said the same thing, but you, it's not right. You're both correct. You are both actually oh, correct. Serious? Yeah. Yep. Oh wow, I thought it was. I didn't think that was right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after Smart round name. one, we have Zabi up six to three. So a really good game going on here. But Zabi is confident in the lead. But don't get too cocky because, Jacob, we, know, we all know what he can do. All right, so moving into round yeah. two. Zabi, you're going to get a similar advantage as you did in round one. But this time I'm going to tell you six 
No, I'm going to give you three category options and you're going to pick the one that you feel is going to be the best advantage to you and you will receive three questions of your own and Jacob will receive three of his own. And once you hear the category, okay. you will then announce how confident you are in the category by telling how many multiple choice options you want. Z zero, four, or two, which will also re um, resolve into the points of three, two, and one. Okay? All oh, right. okay. Lucas, do you want to go ahead and let him know what his category options are? All right, you have three categories in round two. You have fantasy sci-fi, biopics, and westerns. I'm going to take biopics. Biopics. All right. Okay. Biopics are selected. Yeah. So both players. Now that we know that the category is biopics, go ahead and write down how many multiple choice options you would like. Would you like zero for, worth three points per correct answer, four for two correct for two points, or two for one point? So the easier the op, the it's possibility is. Right here. Yeah. Lucas knows this firsthand. Let's just say that. critical decision you have to make in this round right here to, to bet how confident and, you are. Uh, but also how, how many questions are asked? Three each. And three different three. questions. So Zabi, you'll get your own three, okay. and Jacob, you'll get your own three. Oh, okay. Um, we saw in my match, Henry, that this round, if you play it incorrectly, can definitely affect your chances yes. later on. It'll definitely go south, or could go south. All right, I yep. feel like both of us have our options. So Zabi, how many multiple choice options would you like? I said two. You're going to go two? That's only going to be worth one point. Per correct answer. Did you? Wait. I thought the options were four, two, and zero. None. Yeah. So two is the is the highest probability of getting it right. So you're going to get the least amount of points. You understand or no? As always, we got a lag. All right, we're back on track. We got a lag. We had a lag for a second. Are we all there? Jacob, what are you going to take? I'm going to take four. Hold on. Hold on. We had a lag on my end for a minute. Hold on. Fist. I'm here. Zabi, are you You're there? Hang out again. All right. I'll, I'll just cut all that out. All right. Let's Is it me that's cutting out? No. It's, it's, it's you, no, it's, Henry. Yeah, it's, it's Henry. Def, it's definitely me. My, okay. my house is stupid. You pay the You're best, back. Wait, you pay the best money for the... All right. Go ahead. Zero is worth the most points for each question? Yes. Yes. But it also okay. means you have no. You have to basically hear the question and guess. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'm okay. I'm taking four multiple choice options. All right, hold on. <laughs> I, I just want to reveal that one more time, just for it's make sure it's on video. Yeah. So Zabi right, and Jake and Henry, before we do this, yeah. Uh, the f let's give the first guy the odd questions and the second guy the evens questions. All right, that's cool. Okay. All right. So one more time. Three. Questions I write next to each other tend to be more similar. Yeah, I don't want to give one person the similar three questions. All right. Three, two, one. All right, Zabi. So you picked biopics. How confident are you in that selection? How many multiple choice options would you like? Uh, I'm going to take no multiple choice options. All right. None of them. So that's going to be worth three points each, and you will get no multiple choice. Jacob, what did you pick? I picked four. Okay. okay. And that will be worth two points each. All right, Jacob, since you're behind, you'll get your first three questions first and potentially put the pressure back on Zabi. Lucas, would you like to read the questions to Jacob? Absolutely, Henry. All right, Jacob, in the category of biopics, remember you can answer before the multiple choice options are given for street cred, but uh, it's probably the more intelligent decision to at least hear the options because you have you give, you have them available to yourself. Yeah, and also if you do right, answer so incorrectly w before correctly. getting the multiple choice options, you will get it incorrect. So just so that's clear. Okay. Right. So let your ego and leave your ego at the door. <laughs> 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 All right. So question one in the category of biopics: Name the title of the James Brown biopic starring Chadwick Boseman. And your multiple choice options are. A, Walk the Line, mm -hmm. B, Living in America, C, Get on Up, or Get D, on up. Revolution of the Mind. You are correct. Get on Up is the correct answer. For two points. The other two, other, at least two of those other options are the names of James Brown, James Brown albums. <laughs> Little mind games there. I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, your second question in the category of biopics, Jacob. In the hurricane, Reuben Carter is sent to prison for committing which crime? Your multiple choice, choice options are A, fraud, B, larceny, 
C, homicide, or D, rape? B, homicide. Uh, B, larceny. That is going to be incorrect. Incorrect. And just and for clarification, hold on, just for clarification, since nobody picked two multiple choice options, there are, is stealing allowed. So, Zabi, do you want to get right. your steal? Yeah. Um, I would say homicide. That is that correct. Is correct. Damn it. For the two points. All right. And your last I didn't realize, question. I didn't realize that was stealing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I definitely, I forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. All right. All right. Your final question in the category of biopics. Who directed The Doors, a biopic about the life of Jim Morrison? And your multiple choice options are A, Milos Forman, B, Oliver Stone, C, Oliver Stone. you're correct. All righty. All right. So and after that, and here we go back to Zabi. All right. So after Jacob's questions, the score is tied 7-7 seven to seven after that steal. All right, All right. Zabi, your three questions. Your first one, who starred and directed in Miles Ahead? Do you know this? Don Cheadle. Oh, he did know it. <laughs> Two, wow. Three points. Oh, he doesn't get multiple choice options. So, yeah, definitely three points. I like that. All righty. Ten to seven. Your second question. The Theory of Everything is a biopic about the life of what famous scientist? Stephen Hawking. That is also correct. It's obvious that biopics is his strength yes. right here. And your final question yeah. to potentially go up 16 to seven. 2016's race is a biopic about the life of which famous Olympian? Oh man. Jacob, be ready. Man, I, okay. Uh, Jesse Owens. That is correct. Wow. I was thinking, I, I just saw Get Out. I know they mentioned him in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. After a clean sweep from Zabi and also a steal in round two, Zabi goes up 16 to 7. So, unfortunately for Jacob, that means that Zabi knocked him out going into mm. round three. But since this league is based Holy on points. Shit. Both of you are going to get the opportunity to answer your third round questions, but obviously Zabi automatically gets the win. Okay? Baka. All right, so keep your, keep your head in the game because these points will matter when it comes towards the end of the season. All right, Zabi. Got it. Back to you. Once again, the advantage of answering, getting your options for the categories. I'm going to give you six categories. You're going to pick the three that you choose. One is going to be your easy question. One is going to be your medium and one is going to be mm -hmm. your hard for one, two, and three points. And then the Do I get to choose which one? Yes. So that all, that's okay. the advantage. You get to get your three categories and then pick which one you want to make your easy, medium, hard. And then, unfortunately, Jacob will be left with the remaining, and then he will then make the decision of which easy, medium, and hard. All right. So your six okay. categories are Harry Potter, comedy, 2000s, new releases, war, and movie release dates. And just to be clear, movie release dates are any, I mean, new releases are going to be movies that have already been released on DVD or video at the point of this video. So nothing that is currently in theaters. Okay, I'm taking Harry Potter for sure. Harry Potter. <laughs> um, I'll also take 2000s. 2000s. And uh, sorry, could you just repeat the, the other four? Yeah, movie release dates, new releases, comedy, that was it. And war. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll take. Okay, I'll take new releases for my easy. Okay. Um. Uh, two thousands for my medium and Harry Potter for my hard. I like that. Okay, Jacob, right. you're going to be re left with comedy, movie release dates, and war. Which one would you like to make your easy, medium, and hard? Uh, war, easy, comedy, medium, hard, movie release dates. Okay. All right. So since That's, see. since uh, I read my questions for Zabi and no, yeah, and Jacob read his questions for and Lucas read his questions for Jacob. I'm gonna read Jacob's questions to him to potentially help his standing score. All right. So for your easy question in war, 
Saving Private Ryan opened opening shows which famous event from World War II. So this is not necessarily the opening of the movie, but the opening of World War II. No, this is the Sorry. opening of the movie. The opening of the can movie get... shows which famous World War II event. Yeah. Sorry, can I get that one again? Uh... Yeah, okay, just just to be 100% clear. What yeah. World War II event is shown at the opening of Save and Private Ryan? Um, why am I blanking on this? Oh my god. The, um, five, four. It doesn't have to be that specific. It just three. has to be the major. Normandy. The yeah. Yeah. But we'll accept that. DJ. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. One point. Your medium question under comedies. In the 2011 film Our Idiot Brother, who plays the idiot brother? Paul Rudd. Correct. <laughs> I can't believe I actually spent 15 bucks on that movie. I like that movie. Oh, I can't believe that either. <laughs> Paul Rudd definitely had a homeless looking going to him. All right. Uh, so for your hard question in movie release dates to give you a total of 13 points for the first game. Valkyrie, Mamma Mia, and The Reader were all released in which 2008. Movie? That is correct. Well all right, Jacob. Right. 13 points in a loss. Which, so Zabi, unfortunately, that's Zabi not chose. <laughs> how to put that, but congratulations. All right, Zabi, go ahead. Zabi Lucas. chose for, category, for the easy category, you chose do releases. Uh, Casey Affleck won an Oscar for his portrayal of Lee Chandler in which movie? Manchester by the Sea. That is correct. Your second, you chose 2000s. Your medium question, who won an Oscar for his performance in the film Crazy Art? Jeff Bridges. That is also correct. Nice. And your hard question in the category of Harry Potter. In The Sorcerer's Stone, how many presents did Dudley originally get on his birthday before screaming at Petunia for more? I love this The question. answer is a number in this case. How much did he originally get? How many presents did he originally get before screaming at Petunia for more? 36. That is correct. Wow. <laughs> the B bringing out the guns in this game. All right. So to make this so, clear. Don't Harry Potter, man. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Very impre I'm, I'm impressed. All right, Zabi. So to be clear, you scored 23 points in your game, plus three points for your knockout, plus two points for your total win, which brings your week one round to... 28 points. So keep that in mind when it comes to the rankings. That's that's spo sure, yeah. spoiler alert to previous matches. That's a high that's a high <laughs> that's a high score. That is very impressive. All right, Zabi. So, now that you have won this game against a very formidable opponent who nobody should take lightly, how do you feel about not only this league but the format? Uh I I actually like it a lot. Yeah, like um I I didn't finish watching the entire last match that I was just watching before this, but yeah, I, I really like the format. I think it, it really places a lot of um, advantage on who gets the that first question. Oh, yeah. And then, like, who's, like, leading into each round. That definitely helps a lot. Definitely. But, yeah, I mean, against, like, you know, Jacob, I definitely needed that. <laughs> he, like, yeah. crushed me the last time we played, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Jacob. So, uh, unfortunately, you got the loss, but how do you feel, again, about the format and the overall league and potentially your future matches? Oh, I just need a... It, yeah, it's one of those ones where if you're not quick enough at the start, you can really hurt... It, it hurts you a lot. So, just got to get a bit quicker with saying Jay. I, can't, I said Jacob, which... Yeah. And yeah it's it's, down it's natural there. to want to say your first name. Um, yeah. In round two, you chose four multiple choice. Do you think that hurt you, or do you think that was still the smart move looking back? Uh, uh, that hurt me a lot. Um, I knew... Uh, two of them I knew. If I didn't have multiple choice, I would have guessed murder. But because the way he wrote, because I need to know that okay, Lucas wrote larceny, and I would have thought, and because it was larceny and not theft, <laughs> that made me go, okay, he's being specific because that's that's what tricked me. So yeah. 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 
if I it's very specific. yeah I definitely understand yeah that. if I um that uh, yeah if I had went if I had gone nothing if I didn't go multiple choice I would have gotten all three of them and I would have gotten nine points <laughs> but oh well <laughs> yeah that's, that's the game difference all right Lucas how do you feel about being the first co-host of this league so far I think it was a lot of fun these guys really showed up they really played well uh yeah, that first question, that advantage is huge, and I think we've seen that in multiple yeah. matches yeah. so far. Is if you can get that, and you can and you can pick the correct categories in round one that give you that keep you having the advantage, you can keep that advantage the whole way through. Yeah, definitely. And plus, after the first set of weeks, everyone's going to see everyone's strengths and weaknesses, so that might also come into play in future games. Yeah. yeah. No. All it's right. Especially, it's especially advantage if you play someone who has. A weakness. Weaknesses that you find are strength. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, guys. So I appreciate your time. As always, we have people around the world, so it's definitely hard to schedule, make schedule on time, but we were able to make it work. Yeah. Jacob, would you like to plug anything that you might have coming soon or anything strong yeah, in your heart? Yeah. Um, so uh, obviously, we I do the watch alongs along at uh, 8.30 EST every Saturday night, but... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Uh, in September, we are going to be doing our first charity event uh, for Take Three Productions, yes. where we're going to watch all six Middle Earth movies over the course of three days for charity. Um, we the I'll post a link on our channel at um, Take Three Productions, but we'd love it if you if people could get on board and Definitely. watch along and donate whatever you can. But that's yeah, that's I'll be plugging that. Um, for the next couple of months before we have that. So that's in September. All right. And I'll definitely put, put a link to the description below for Take 3 Productions as well as anything else that he would like to plug in the future. Zabi, how about yourself? Anything you would like to plug or tell anyone where they can find you? Uh, not really, man. This is pretty much the only thing I do. <laughs> worthy of any interest from other people. Keeping a low profile. So, uh, I like it. Yeah. Hey if, is, hey, if they like you here, then they'll be commenting below and they'll be rooting for you. All right, guys, so this was yeah. another episode of There Will Be Trivia, a very successful one. And don't take Jacob lightly because he may have gotten the loss and only 13 points here, but you'll, you'll see some more from him. Zabi, congratulations on your win. Lucas, thank you for host, thank co-hosting you. with me, and we will see everyone very soon. Bye-bye. Cheers. Wow, that was... <laughs>